Alright guys, we're back. We're continuing this journey of playing these old school D&D games to see if they hold up to someone that's never played these before. I'm pretty sure we're like 0 for 4 on like these old school games. I, I, I have no idea what's going on. It's so like complicated. Oh jeez. Oh my god. What is happening here? Oh, it's like a riddle. Jeez, the, this this is so loud. The audio is so loud. That was a sick bar from this lady. Oh my god, this is insane, guys. You know, the song kind of reminds me of something from like Chrono Trigger. What's happening here? Who is this lady? What is going on here? Holy crap, the 3D animation, guys. Or I guess maybe this is still 2D. Oh, I love these low quality voice recordings. I, I don't know who this is. Who is this lady? She's like dulcum. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, guys, this is amazing. This is a, a this is a crazy intro for a 1993 game or whatever. This is amazing. That was one of the greatest cutscenes I've ever seen. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, jeez, what is going on here? This is a sick cutscene. This is guys. I'm I'm already so impressed. What? I don't even know what this is. I guess this is where we're going to. We're we're playing a uh, dungeon something. I already forgot the name of it. Oh my god! Who the hell is this? Jesus! Oh my! There's a battle! Oh oh my gosh! That was crazy. What was that? A troll? This guy killed it in one hit. This is insane, guys. Holy crap. That was probably the best intro. Dungeon Hack, that's the name of it. We're trying out Dungeon Hack. This is uh, part of the uh, third uh, collection in this, you know, the gold box game or whatever. Official Advanced Dungeons and Dragons 2nd Edition. Guys, that was a banger. That was a banger of a soundtrack, of a intro in general, the animation, everything about that was top notch. Let's create a new character. We're, we're pretty much... Oh my, look at this. Holy crap. This is crazy. This looks a lot different than the other, uh, you know, gold box games we've tried. We, we played like Eye of the Beholder. We did the old Neverwinter. We've done, you know, a couple other ones. This, this one looks so much more streamlined. Everything is on one page here. This is great. Fighter, look at this. Holy, the UI. I'm, a, I'm already impressed with the UI, guys. Oh, they got Bard, too. Did they have Bard before? I don't think so. So from what I know, Dungeon Hack is, it, it, it's sort of like a, a endless dungeon kind of thing. Like it's like a replayable hack and slash, you know, dungeon crawler in, in the Forgotten Realms. This is like the first kind of, the first of its kind, I guess. I don't know. But I know it's like a configurable sort of a dungeon crawler. I figured I'd try it out. Oh wow, so even changing, oh look at this. So if you change the class, it automatically removes like the, the stuff that you can't be with it. Guys, that's so convenient. Oh my god. Yeah, everything here is so streamlined. I've never seen an old school advanced Dungeons and Dragons game like streamlined like this. Okay, so since I know this is like a dungeon crawler, it's just a lot of like combat. I guess it kind of makes sense to, uh, you know, make make a more uh, fighting class. Uh, I'm thinking like Ranger Cleric, guys. I don't know why. Paladin probably works too. Paladin's got tw uh, uh, 24 hit points. That's pretty good. Well, yeah, so how many... How many uh, points do I have to like adjust this? Can I just put everything? Oh, I could just max everything out. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Hey, that's convenient. You know what? So, you know, since we're trying it out, let's just, uh, 
max everything. I mean, this is, you know, I did say this is very customizable. I, how is this? How high does this go? What is this? 99? Zero, zero. Okay, yeah, I, I, sure. I, we'll just max everything out, sure. Right, let's get, can we just max this out too? Holy crap, guys, we're gonna make friggin... Oh, okay, that's the most. Okay, great. Oh, you could re-roll too. Let's just keep everything as is. I don't know how to play any of these old school games, I'm not gonna lie. I, I've, I've been, like, lost and confused. I've been dazed and confused every time I play this, so... Not this, but like a any other of these old school D&D &D games, so... Uh, you know, whatever's easiest for me. Uh, lawful good, okay. Yeah, Paladin, that makes sense. Okay, sure, yeah, let's let's do that. I did read that most of these games, you know, you're kind of making a party. But for this game, I think it's only one singular character. So, you know, let's go with him. Uh, we're, we're, a, we're a Paladin, well, what's, a, what's a good Paladin name? It's a human Paladin, look at this dude. Let's call him Moose Tash, because he's got a mustache. All right, that's good. All right, let's let's try this out. Uh, well, I guess I'll go moderate. You know, I just say it to make it easy on me, but you know, let's moderate's usually, you know, the the normal difficulty. I'm not trying to make it too easy. Generating dungeon. Okay, yeah. So it's it seems like it's one of those games that like the the repel the replayability is pretty high because it just randomly generates dungeons. So uh, I'm kind of interested in this. It's like a roguelite. I read it's like a roguelite, you know, action dungeon crawler kind of thing. So let's see how this works. My goodness, can I use the? Oh, I can use the arrow keys. Okay. Oh, I I'm trying to I'm trying to turn left or right, but I can. So <laughs> I guess he's just he's just hitting the wall with his chest. <laughs> like, oh, I can't go that way. Okay. I got a hammer. What's this hammer? Purple mallet taken. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. I get to use the mouse and the and the what's it called? And <laughs> and the arrows. Sorry, the the guy's groaning is cracking me up. Oh, oh, the map's here. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, what is going on here? What happened? Oh, I'm looking at the map. Okay, let's save to disk. Holy crap. Print? I can print the map out? Okay, let's exit that. How do you even... Oh, you... do I gotta... Oh, there's a thing here, though. I certainly hope that this creature only appears in this dungeon as a tapestry and not in the flesh. What is this, magic? Turn on dead. Oh my gosh, god. Yeah, this seems a lot more streamlined. Can I equip this? Oh, this is sick, guys. Oh my gosh. This is way easier to manage than the other old school ones. So how do I know which is better? How do I like examine? Can I like examine this? I, I guess I can't. There's like no options here. What about this? Hum Yo, this guy is 17 years old? This guy's got the thickest mustache for 17. Holy crap. This dude hit puberty at 6 years old or something. Okay, well anyways. I guess we'll just go backwards. Oh, here. It is too dark to see what lies uh, below this grate. Can I just turn around? How do I turn around? Oh, here. Jeez, okay. What is this? Oh, here we go. I don't even know what this is. What is this? It looks like a baller, but pretty sure it's not. Let's turn here. Oh, what the hell was that? What is this emerald? What was that laughing? Oh, jeez. Oh, god, okay. Oh, guys. Oh, that's sick. Wait, can I... Oh, you can actually see it open. Oh, my god. Guys. Holy crap, this is already amazing. I'm having so much fun already. I actually know what's going on. Cobwebs are one thing, but this is another story entirely. I shudder at the thought of the creature who created this. I don't know. We got another mallet here. I love this mixture of a, of a mouse and the arrow keys. So we got a purple and a blue mallet? That's gotta be some sort of puzzle, right? Looks like we got another uh, contraption there that'll open the door. What is that? What is that laughing? Oh my god, what is that? That's kind of scary. I don't know, okay, guys. I, I I'm a little scared. This I feel like something's gonna jump scare me. Oh, got it. I, I was right. I was right. I, I guess I guess we're just gonna mash this button. There's so many of them. I also don't know. Oh, there's my health. Okay, yeah, we're we're doing good. Luckily, I maxed out all of my stats. Okay, yeah, this is way easier. If if any if any company ever decides to like make a a revival of this kind of game like this old school point and click oh that was a disgusting groan what was that can you guys hire me as a voice actor I, I feel like i could make way higher quality stuff than this or i can make it as low quality as you want uh okay i somehow have two keys that's okay oh my gosh look at the, hear the sound effect that's definitely a dude that just went <laughs> that's a guy that's a guy doing oh this doesn't even have a this doesn't oh how did that oh how did that happen Oh, it's this! Oh my god, that was a complete accident. 
I love this already. The the fact that I understand and I'm advancing this quickly, that I'm already like impressed with myself. So yeah, I guess we gotta put the green. Something seems to be, yeah, I guess we gotta put this here. Oh my god, guys, I feel like a genius. This is the furthest I've ever gotten in any old school gold box classic game. I I feel like I'm so smart, even though I cheated by just maximizing all of my stats. But still, uh, key okay. We have four crimson keys. I wonder which one uh, is gonna open this. Unless they're all the same. So maybe it's this one? Oh no, maybe not. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't see this one. Fire. Oh yeah, that makes sense. We also got Lay on Hands, and you can get up to level 7 spells. There is no way a paladin is getting level 7 spells. Come on, <laughs> come on now. Any idiot would know that. Yeah guys, uh, j just maximize all your stats because this is so much more manageable. I'm pretty sure I would have died in the first battle. What is this? I wonder what this slot is for. Probably the blue mallet? No, okay. Purple? Probably not purple. I mean, if the other one didn't work, yeah. Okay, so maybe we gotta come back. Oh, I wonder if you can, like, dodge. Can you dodge? If I time it right, will it dodge? I don't know. That's a great question, me. Oh, there's a key. Frost key. Okay, oh, what is this? That is curious. It looks like a gong. Shout out to Gong from Shining Force. Oh, so you probably hit with the blue mallet. Oh my goodness, guys. Yeah, these puzzles actually seem really easy, but having played all of the other... Well, not all of them, but a lot of the other gold box... Oh, jeez! All of the other gold box classics. I, th this, is, I'm, this is already like miles ahead, in my opinion, because I'm actually advancing the story. Okay, so a little, should we check the map? Let's, let's check the map. How far did we go so far? Look at this. Look how far we've gone. There's also these red lines. What is this? Creatures. Oh. Wait, did we miss creatures? I thought we just killed everyone on the way here. Illusion. Oh, illusionary walls. Oh, it shows you. We got pillars. We got teleporters. Stairs up, stairs down. And pits. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, yeah, we hear some guys. Oh, there they are. Oh, where the hell did they go? Oh, you can see them. Oh, you can see them on the map. Oh, they're moving. They're moving in real time. Okay, we're getting real far from, uh... What we said we were gonna do? I was gonna open that door. But I guess we'll keep going this way. What the hell is this? Parchment. How do I read this? Can't put that there. So how do I view this? Is there no way to view this? Holy symbol taken. Oh crap. Oh. Crumbles into dust. What? No! What? My fire-based attacks do not seem very effective against the shambling mound's wet and slimy nature. Oh, I just dest- Oh my gosh. I don't even know what that friggin' parchment was. What a waste. Let's hit this purple one first. Open that. Oh, jeez. Back up for a second. Oh, yeah. Guys, oh, I love that you can move and attack. This is so cool. When did this come out? This has to be one of the later... Oh, God. The sound effects, guys. Jeez, this is intense. The sound effects make everything so intense. Uh, okay, yeah. L l let me equip this pendant thing. Oh, look at that. So what does this do? I, I, wish, it I wish it told me. Does this do anything? Oh, I could just... Oh. I don't even know what slots these are. Like, what 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 is this? What what is this representing? Okay, well, whatever. It it, it applies, I I guess. Oh man, I am hurt, guys. I might have to heal myself after. Okay, let let me let me try this healing. Lay on hands. Mustache cast lay on hands. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. I wish it told you. Does it not tell you like how many points you heal or anything? There's like so much missing information. There's that uh, little window. Okay, yeah, so I think that's everything here. Oh my god, what is that? What is this guy? I'll never make it through here. I'll have to find another way. Oh, he's just a statue. Holy crap, I thought that was a boss. I was like, no way I'm going to kill this dude. That's a sick pose. So I guess we could try resting. Let's try it. I guess maybe we'll eat something. Let's eat. However that works. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was nice. Okay, let's camp. Rest, pray for spells, memorize spells. Show creature totals. Show Hall of Fame? Okay, I, I guess I can't memorize spells. Pray for spells? I don't really know what that means. Zero available? I guess we'll just rest. Shall I cast healing spells? I don't really have any. So no thanks. Do you wish to rest until all wounds are healed? Let's, yeah, I guess we'll just rest until healed. Let me rest 30... Nope. Let's rest uh, 70 hours in a dungeon. That's safe. Cool, okay. I, I don't know, understand how you how do you get more food. Like, I, I'm surviving off two rations. Man, the, the, these, uh... Ooh. Guys, I, I, I like this design. I, I like the... It's so simple, but it really does feel like a pretty... A pretty cool little adventure here. For this, like, 1993 game, I, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed.
This works so well. I, lo I love the little, uh, I mean, they're not really, uh, they're not really puzzles, but, you know, just, just the different, like, doors you gotta open. There's, like, different methods to open the doors, I mean. It's kinda mm. cool. Guys, look at the progress that we made, holy. And this also looks like I'm playing a game of Minesweeper. This is getting close, guys. We're getting real close to dying here. We gotta play smart, guys. Uh oh, here comes the train. Oh, they're, oh, they're hitting at the same time! Oh, gosh, where am I looking? Oh, gosh, we're not gonna survive this. We are not gonna survive this. Holy crap. Give me a healing potion. Goodness gracious, guys. This is intense. Oh my god. Who are you? Holy... Who is this guy? Oh my gosh. Where'd he go? Oh my god, it's a zombie. Oh my gosh. What the hell were you? Oh, potion. Ten, what does that say? Tan potion? What the hell is a tan potion? Is it gonna turn me tan? They gave me a suntan potion. What the hell is that? I wish they had descriptions. I'm just gonna drink it. Oh look, they just changed everything to tan. That was right. Are you insane? Okay, so where is that red... Oh, it's... Oh, a sling. Oh! Jade ring. That kind of rhymed. How does a sling work? Let's put it here. So can I... Oh, no ammo. How do you put ammo? Can I put jade ring as ammo? Oh my god, are you serious? I cannot take it off. It is cursed! What?! Oh my gosh, they got cursed items here? Oh, wand. So how does this work? Oh, j whoa! Okay, yeah, let's use some magic. I'm gonna die real soon, so I, I guess I gotta use this as, like, ranged. I, I don't know if this wand is doing any damage. Oh, it worked. Oh my god, this is a sick wand. How many uses is this? It doesn't even tell you. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Okay, yeah, let's rest. I think we should rest, guys. I think it's a good idea to rest. I think it's about time we take a 90-hour rest. Don't need healing? Yeah, let's, let, let's see how long this resting is gonna take. Starvation racks. Oh gosh. No. Okay, let's eat. Let me eat. Let's eat. This is my last ration. I guess we're just gonna keep resting. I have no idea where to get food. It does not tell you where to get food. I'm gonna die from starvation again. Oh gosh. How, how, can you like kill animals and then like then you know then like cook cooked meat? What is it? Whoa! A grappling hook. They got grappling hooks in here? Oh my goodness. How does this even work? Oh, I guess you can't use it. How does nobody here have any sort of food whatsoever? This is insane. Oh, what is this, a shield? Oh, sick! Let's see if this shield does anything. Oh, wait, I'm still getting hit. Maybe it's just less damage now? I hope. Guys, so, geez, some someone just have some freaking broccoli or something. Like, oh, wait, I saw something. This is a baseball bat? Oh, flail. Let's try it, sure. That seems like a very, uh, paladin-like thing to use anyways, a flail. Please, just end this dungeon. Oh my goodness, there's a way down. On page 9, under the heading alignments, please enter the fourth word. Oh, what? I think you can just choose whatever, right? Let's take a guess. Some someone verify this on page 9 if you have the, uh, whatever the hell book they're talking about. Well, what sounds, uh, you know, Dungeons and Dragons-esque? Under the heading- oh, it has to be under alignments, too. So what- what- what could be in- the, in an alignment- Description. Evil? That's That sounds pretty... That sounds like it could work. Uh-oh. Under the heading, a crash course in spellcasting. Enter the sixth word. This is insane. I, I guess that's why they put either. Maybe, uh... Maybe they give you a hint. Effect. It's gotta be effect. Oh, I just guessed that. Okay. Alright, we're going down. Sugar, we're going down. Oh, God. I, I, I still have no food at all. Oh, was it? Oh, food. Oh, finally. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. It took like 80 different creatures to finally have one single ration. Oh gosh. Oh, am I dead? Oh, I'm held. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't attack. Oh, he stopped my actions. Oh, that's insane. Oh, I think he's like a ghoul or something. Because I'm pretty sure ghouls can do that. Okay, let's go in here. We're, we're going to die real soon. I probably should have healed myself. Let me do that real quick. Oh god. Oh! Damn it, I should not have... Ah, oh, gee, I probably should have saved it. Oh, man. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. That was probably the funnest old-school D&D game that I've played so far. This was the only game where it actually felt like I knew what I was doing, and, and I was actually able to do it. I don't know, this seems like a pretty, like, legit game to try even for, like, a modern-day game. Like, it works. This is a lot more manageable to play 
if you've never played any of the old school D&D games compared to the other ones, this is not too bad, guys. I don't know, someone leave a comment down below if you actually played this. This is pretty good, though. I I'm not gonna lie, the intro was a banger. Well, that was Dungeon Hack. Uh, you know, we're, we're already running through, like, four or five of these old school gold box games, so... You know, maybe I'll try some of the other ones in the near future.